It's your boy David off. Welcome back to Movie Monday. So, yes, time to start a new marathon now. Batman 1 is done completely. Live action movie is all done. Three episodes. Very quick. This one will be quick as well. It's Gamera this time. There's only 12 movies, so not anywhere near as much as Godzilla. Uh, but yeah, 12 movies is still like it's a decent amount, so either two or three episodes. One one of the two. Although in three weeks' time it will be mo movie list. So uh I might try and do it in two. We'll see, but it's another short one. Another short one. They're all under two hours, I'm pretty sure, so it might be easier to get through them. But yeah, there's eight Showa movies and four Heisei. Or it says three Heisei and one, one Millennium, or just four Heisei. Either way, there's eight Showa and four for the rest. So uh, this should be good. Uh, hopefully uh, it's interesting. I do like kaiju movies. Got into them more this year. Love the Godzilla movies. Watched them all at the start of the year in the marathon. Um... I've also got a list of Kong movies as well to watch. There's like three of them. I'm going to watch them closer to the Godzilla vs Kong release dates. So that'll be like later on next year. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to doing this. To, to seeing the rest, to seeing the Gamera movies. See what Gamera is like. A different kaiju. Not owned by Toho, I'm pretty sure. Just a different company. I would love to see Legendary sit down. Have a meeting. Somehow set up a meeting with the owners of Gamera and Toho. And talk about Godzilla vs Gamera. Because it could be a good movie. That has potential to make a lot of money and um they can't pass it up surely like there's been talk of it for sure but come on godzilla versus gamera it would be a good idea you know it would be a good idea maybe not as big as godzilla versus kong but still you know it would be would be something that's for sure but anyway let's get started i've never watched gamera movie before and i know what it looks like but that's about it so uh we're gonna start with 1965 and the whole thing's on youtube actually one hour 18 minutes so, uh, yeah, not very long, but uh, let's do this. So I just watched it, and yeah, that was good. That was a good first movie. Pretty short, uh, to be fair, but still. It went back really quickly. He has some similarities to the Godzilla movie, actually, the original one, um, in a way. Because it's like the original movie. He's the only monster in the movie, like Godzilla was in his original movie. And he's causing destruction, and humans trying to kill him. And eventually, at the end, they find a way to get rid of him, basically. But it's, it's a bit different, though, because Godzilla was... Murdered. W mur murdered? <laughs> Godzilla was killed by Ocean Destroyer and Gamera was just launched to Mars. But still, like, there's some similarities there. Black and white, obviously, as well. And yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty enjoyable. I quite liked it. Um, I liked the origin of it as well. How it was, like, from a bomb at the start. Um, and how it gets so big as well. Um, I liked his design. Although the eyes looked a bit weird, though. The eyes looked a bit strange. At times, it looked like a bit like Shin Godzilla's eyes in his first form. But, um... Yeah, but it was a good design, especially from the original design as well, it was a good design, um, I really liked it. So, uh, yeah, and he can fly as well. I was just like, whoa, didn't, even, didn't, know, didn't know Gamera could fly, but he can. So that was pretty crazy as well, so, yeah, that was, that was pretty good, it was pretty cool. So next up, I think, is uh, Gamera vs. Barugon, 1966, a year later, so let's do this. I love how, like... It's kind of similar to Godzilla, the franchise, in a way, the show series, because it started with the main monster on his own, causing destruction, and he's fighting the humans. And then it went on to Versus movies, where he fights other monsters, just like that, and Gamera is the same thing as well, which I quite like, I quite like that. Baragon, the monster he fights in this movie, the only monster in this movie, is a cool looking monster, I like him, I like the design. The horn in the front looked a bit like Baragon as well from Toho, so it's not the same monster, obviously, it's, they're, they're totally different, but like... The front, the face from some angles looked a bit like Baragon as well. Um, but still, like, Baragon was, was cool. Baragon was cool. Apart from his noise, the noise he makes, the roar he makes, that high pitched roar, is kind of off, -fit, off putting for me. It doesn't really, like, fit him. At least to me, anyway. It doesn't really, like, fit with uh, Baragon. But uh, still, apart from that, it's a cool looking monster. He even beat Gamera at first, and then Gamera won, went on in the end. Um, I like Baragon's powers as well, the rainbow, the purple stuff as well. Also, is this like, is this effects or is it the people in suits? Because this one looks more like effects than Godzilla movies do. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's probably just people in suits. That's probably what it is, right? Probably. But still, it, it looked pretty cool. I like the way it's filmed. I do like the, the way it's filmed. Oh yeah, one thing about the start of the movie, the very, the very first scene, right? I love how the ending of the previous movie, the victory of the previous movie 
is undone in seconds in the in the first seconds of this. Like seriously, at the end of the last movie, they didn't kill Gamera, but they got him off the planet. They took, they launched him to Mars, where he's out of danger from humans. At the start of the next movie, that very same rocket hits a meteor. Gamera comes back to Earth. Like <laughs> literally, the, the whole victory from the first movie is just gone. In the second one, it's it's just hilarious, but uh, still, still like it, it was pretty funny, and uh, yeah, that was that was pretty good. Next up is Godzilla versus Godzilla. I'm saying things wrong today. Gamera versus Gaios. G Y A O S. I assume it's Gaios, probably. Let's do this. So it's pronounced Gaos. Gaos. I think like I they said it like 24 times in the movie, and, I, and I've forgotten already. It's Gaos, it's something it's similar to that. So yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting name. And the monster's pretty cool. Uh, it looks weird though, the head looks really weird. Just just the shape, the shape of it. When when it first got revealed in that little mountain thing, mount, little mountain thing, in the mountains when it got first revealed, when it popped his head out, I was like, is that Mogera? Because <laughs> Mogera, the mecha thing from um, the Godzilla movies, it looked kind of similar to that in a way. I think it's because of the nose or something. The shape of the head is a bit pointy, like Megara. And then I thought, this looks a bit like Rodan in some ways. It's like a weird, Rodan's weird brother. There we go, <laughs> there's one. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I don't know why I'm comparing this to, um, to Toho Monsters constantly, but that's just what I'm thinking of, because that's what I know mainly for Kaiju. And yeah, that was quite a fun movie. And I love how Gamera just flies off at the end, like a flying saucer. At the last two movies as well. After he wins, it just flies off with the kids saying goodbye, you know. It's, it's quite it's quite good. I bet they all end, they probably all end that way. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, we, we'll do on three of them in one day. I might, like, do all eight of the show movies at this rate. We'll see, because they're quite short movies. They're easy to get through. And they're quite fun as well, so the time just flies by. So, I could easily get through these, I think. But, uh... Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I kind of want a little, a little bit more from the fight, the final battle, but still, I thought it was pretty good. So next up is Gamera vs. Virus. I assume that's how it's pronounced. These are like one year after the other, just like Godzilla as well. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Then nine years off to round off uh, show series in 1980. So Gamera vs. Virus is called Destroy All Planets, I think, in America, because he has two different names. It's, it's the same movie, just with different names. But I watched the dub versions for this one and the last one. And the first two I watched in Japanese with subtitles. We've got some underwater action as well, which is, which is good. Like, that's something different. Obviously, Godzilla's underwater as well. But still, like, we saw quite a bit of Gamera in this movie, which is pretty cool. And I like how you, like, how the kids can communicate with him. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Like, that's different to the Godzilla ones, because in Godzilla you can't really... You can't really talk to him, can you? But you can sort of like talk to Gamera. So I thought that was pretty interesting. That, that, that's pretty cool. Makes adds an element to it, basically. Um, but yeah, Virus is a uh, a strange looking beast. A very strange looking beast. The way he loses, though, is kind of epic at the end. And then Gamera flies away, as usual. But uh, when he just gets dropped... Gamera got beaten up quite badly, to be fair. Until the, to the very end. But still, like, the, it was a good way to beat beat that alien. Yeah, and it, and it was aliens, by the way. It, an alien... Virus was the main alien. It was an alien, alien kaiju. And he had... Hu not human, but he had, like, aliens who looked like humans. Minions who were just doing his bidding, basically. The spaceship they had was very strange. To be fair, it's unique. Like, you see a lot of spaceships nowadays in movies. Over the years, over the decades. But this one... It's, it's unique compared to the rest, to be fair, so I'll give him that, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, Gamera looks more like a regular spaceship than the actual spaceship does. But yeah, another similar thing to Godzilla movies, actually. Introducing aliens who mind-controlled the main kaiju. So that was pretty interesting. But yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So next up is Gamera versus Guiron. I keep saying Gamera. Pretty sure it's Gamera, as they keep pronouncing in the movies, and I just say Gamera anyway. But anyway, uh, also speaking of mispronunciations, from the previous movie it was Viras, not Virus. So, yeah, I said that wrong as well. But never mind, moving on. So, uh, Gamera, Gamera versus Guiron um, is the, the movie that I just watched, obviously. Uh, Guiron, he looks, like, he looks a bit like a shark in a way. Has some similarities there. And also the movie is Space Gaos, basically. Space Gaos. Gaos. 
I've forgotten his name already, Gaius, I'm pretty sure. Space Gaius, so n not Gaius himself, but a space version of him. Um, and so it's him and Guiron, uh, who are with the aliens. Like the last movie, there's aliens in this movie who kidnapped the two kids as well, hold them hostage. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it, this one's alright, this one's alright. I didn't love it, but it's alright. Um, I liked the monster battles the most. For me, the best part of these movies are the ending. Um, maybe not the first one, the first one's good um, at the start as well, but like, in the Versus movies, what I've noticed is the final battle uses the best parts, and it always ends the same way with Gamera, Gamera flying away. So, yeah, that's another thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering, I just keep wondering, what would it be like if he was in the Toho universe, or Legendary universe? How cool would it be? It would just be amazing. Maybe one day. One day. But yeah, moving on. Uh, next up is Gamera vs. Jiga. So yeah, this is all in one day by the way. It's <laughs> the sixth movie on the same day. I could just go for all of them in one week, but I'm gonna not do that. Make it two episodes. So like, considering the Showa series is eight movies, I'll do all of those in this, in this video. I'll do all of those in this episode. Then I'll do the rest next week. I think that's what I'll do. Then movie list then move on to other things. Basically the plan is, there are other marathons to do, like there's Star Wars, but I want to like start that in November. Um, I have a plan for a Marvel and, and a DC, just general marathon. Although the Marvel ones would not include MCU or X-Men or Fox X-Men, because I've I done, uh, I've done um, marathons on them already, so I don't really need to. It would include Deadpool though. Deadpool will be included, but like, it's, a, it's every Marvel movie apart from um, the ones I've done already and DC will be like everything apart from BVS because they're not ready and Justice League because I don't, I don't watch it so they'll be coming up at some point but before that I've got ideas for other movie Mondays uh, and you'll see them at some points I did mention one uh, previously watching Harry Potter for the first time I've never seen it so uh, that would be a good video in itself and I just I literally I, I talked to you about it then like a week later some guy uploaded the video watching Harry Potter for the first time. So, and it's two hours long. So, um, yeah, I'm not even going to see him original, even though I thought of it myself. But <laughs> there we go. So, some guy's already done it. So, this kind of has three different names. According to Wikipedia, it's Gamera versus uh, Jiga with a J. And according to IMDb, it's with a G. And then also another title on IMDb is Gamera versus Monster X. There's like three different names, but anyway, yeah, uh, this monster is cool, and this movie has the best monster action for me, easily. I think it easily beats the rest of the monster action that I've seen already. It's been good so far, but this one has had the best one, best ones for me, the best battles. I just like the monster action the most from this movie, plus the KO at the end. The way Gamera KOs Jaiga, that is awesome. It was, <laughs> it was so damn cool. It was so brutal and I just loved it. Also, like, Jagger has some strange powers. He shoots these little white sticks. And it's quite effective to be fair. It's quite, uh, he does stab into Gamera as well. And, uh, he shoots stuff like webbing, I guess. It's not really webbing, it's a bit more liquidy. But it kind of, it kind of makes Gamera freeze in a way. Uh, kind of, it disables him completely for most of the movie. Um, so it's, in it's interesting power-wise, but, uh, yeah, the way Gamera wins is awesome. I could watch that KO over and over again. That is a damn epic KO. The human side of it wasn't as good, to be fair. I'm not here for the human side of it, to be fair. I'm here for the monster action mainly, but still, some of it was a bit cheesy. Gamera's here now. That means the kid can go, kids can go, can go outside. I'm just like, wait, there's two kaiju fighting outside. Why would you... Because Just because Gamera's here and he protects children, suddenly... They can go outside. What? What is this? What sort of parenting is this? Uh, that's not really cheesy, to be fair. That's just a bit silly. But still, the human side of it was sometimes a bit, a little bit like, a little bit strange. But still, I enjoyed the movie. Before we continue, there's the top of my table, and on the left we have football, or as you might call it, soccer awards. And on the right we have some DC heroes. We have two Batman's. That didn't, that wasn't on purpose. It just one came in a set. And we have the Shard, which is in London. The Burj Khalifa, which is in Dubai and is taller than that, even though that's smaller. 
but that is so much that's the tallest building and then there's that that I got in Dubai as well and it's, it's pretty cool it's, it's full of sand and it's, it's a nice design but what goes here so we have a scene from Godzilla King of the Monsters so it's only fitting that you have Godzilla I know it's really small but like the bigger ones are like so expensive and uh, I mean they're not like insanely expensive there are some uh, like double sized in this that are not that bad but I wanted to save some money so uh, but I wanted a Godzilla figure and I saw it available it was on Prime Day I think it was like an offer or something and uh, with that I got this fella but he doesn't stand up King Ghidorah please he, he, he doesn't stand up he, he, he doesn't stand up I need to figure out how he can stand up. I tried adjusting the tails and the feet and just nothing works and the wings as well. There's one time where I put the wings like this and he actually stood up but I don't know. Uh, I, I'll, I'll work it out. I'll work it out. I'll get something to hold. When you hold his tail down he actually stands up so I gotta figure something out here. Gotta figure something out. But these two were the same price as them separately when they were a bit bigger. That's what I was talking about, like double the size or something. They had bigger versions of this. And these two together were the same price as them individually in a bigger size. So I just thought, you know what, two in one, it's a lot smaller, but they look damn cool. Except he doesn't flip and stand up. I, th I think that's, at least he stands up. See, he, that's why he's the king. That makes sense. Oh yes, there we go, the football award holds it up. There we go. <laughs> that looks cool though, doesn't it? It looks cool. If I can just make it stand up on its own, that'd be awesome, but... Who, who sees that anyway? Only me, so uh, it's all good. Plus that sort of one out over there because all of those are different colours and that's just a glass thing. But still, like, I, I can use that as that. So, there we go. I need some Marvel stuff on here. That's what I need. I need to wait for Endgame stuff to come out and maybe put Thanos and uh, maybe T'Challa, uh, Spider-Man, um, probably Cap and Iron Man and Thor. I'll, I'll work it out, but I need to put some of them in. I need, I need to put some of them in. I need to get um, Aquaman. And Wonder Woman for the DC side. I, I, I need a proper collection, but I'm running out of space already because King Ghidorah's taken up like <laughs> like four spots here. As you can tell, I'm a huge nerd. Huge nerd. Gamera versus Zegra is the worst one. Just gonna leave it there. Just gonna leave it there. He's fighting a giant shark, but it does make me want Gamera versus Jaws. Or Gamera versus the Meg. The Meg's movie from last year, it's about Megalodon, basically. A Megalodon against Gamera. That would be cool, but this this shark looked okay, but still the movie itself looks very good. Yep, let's move on. So the last movie in this marathon is Gamera Super Monster 1980. I just watched it and it was alright. I didn't love it, but it was alright. It included all the kaiju basically from the previous movies, apart from the ones from uh, Gamera vs. Gueron. Apart from that movie, the rest of the kaiju, I'm pretty sure in this movie, I think. That's according to Wikipedia anyway. I think, I think it was, did it include Gueron? I don't think it did. I don't think, I'm gonna trust Wikipedia on that one because there are quite a few kaiju in there. Um, but yeah, basically, like alien, the alien races want to wanted to um, have Gamera fight. What well, they wanted to take over, and Gamera was a threat to them. So were the alien, the alien women as well. Um, but Gamera for, for, took all the kaiju out. Uh, yeah, basically, just Gamera versus all the kaiju is face. It's similar to, um, in some ways, in some ways, similar to uh, Godzilla: Final Wars. Uh, but not as good though, not anywhere near as good or fun. But still, these movies are fun. Uh, but this one was just alright. It wasn't like great, I thought it could have been better. But definitely better than the last one, <laughs> the Zegra one. That was, uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened with that one. But uh, yeah, that was alright. So yeah, eight movies done. So uh, I'm looking forward to next week now, the Heisei period. God in the Universe 995, the year I was born. Gamera 2, Gamera 3, Gamera the Brave in 06 as well. Four movies left. We've gotten through these quite fast, quite fast. But uh, yeah, it was it was good checking these out for sure. Definitely good checking these out, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing the next, uh, the last four. Then we'll move on to other stuff. So uh, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see ya.